Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us and we're doing something fun. We're gonna be painting the seasons of the year. <gasps> and today we're doing fall. Do you know what months are in fall? Um, I wanna say September. Yeah. October uh -huh. and November. Let's see. Yep, September, October, and November Nailed are it. fall. Nail it, first try. So when I think of fall, I think of, well now, now traveling here to Missouri, the leaves change beautiful Ooh, colors. They do yellow and red and orange. Yes. So where you live, do the trees change color or do they start, the leaves just turn brown and then fall? Because huh. some places they do that. Interesting. Kind of in California they do that. Really? Mm-hmm. They don't change as much colors, but now that I've seen the col beautiful colors, I want to draw that. So today what we're doing is we're using our tree because it changes colors as our center part, and we're gonna have some fun drawing together. So the supplies that we're using are our brushes that we always like to use. We're gonna be using three colors, so I want you to grab those out. This one is called fuchsia, but if you have another color, if you don't have this color, use magenta or red is another good color. And then have a yellow, and then have a blue. So those are the three watercolors we are using. Then the other fun things I want you to have for this project is a toothbrush, because we're gonna be using that for our leaves. So maybe if you have an old toothbrush, go and grab that. And then the last thing that's a little bit different is I want you to grab a bowl or a plate, because we're gonna use that to trace. So let's get started, which we like to get started here at Let's Make Art with our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. <laughs> let's do this. Boom. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and let's have you meet Keenan. Oh, hello. He is our video guy who is here to paint with us and share some knowledge with us. Hi there. <laughs> I did not fix my hair today. <laughs> So the first step is, is you have a blank paper, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your plate or your bowl and I want you to flip it upside down and we are going to trace it. So if you don't have anything that is circular, what you can also do is we have an outline and you can go to our website and download this that has this so you can trace over this. So those are some ideas for you. But when you're doing this is I want you to place it in the center a little bit, you'll see that we're gonna add our title at the very top. So let's place it right here. And then you're gonna grab a pencil and you're going to trace around your circle shape. Okay, hmm. there we go. Okay, now the next step is, is that we're going to draw our tree. So when you were drawing a tree, actually, before that is we're gonna draw the ground. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a horizontal line, which is a line that goes across. And let's look at our painting and it's probably in the bottom part. So somewhere down here, I want you to start over here on the left and you're gonna draw a line. It's okay if it's not straight because the ground isn't always straight. So it's okay if it's not perfect. We don't wanna be perfect here. We're just drawing together. Okay, the next step is, is our tree trunk. Now, when you're drawing this, if you decide, I want my tree on the right side, maybe you do that. Maybe you decide, I want my tree on the left side. Mm. You can do that too. This is, always remember that this is your painting. So I want you to make this your own. So the first step is, is wherever you draw your tree, I want you to start kind of in the middle, because here's our tree trunk. That's what we're drawing, is the trunk, which is the long part. So we're gonna start here and you're gonna go down but as you get close to here, what you're gonna do is you, you're gonna draw and come out a little bit. So you know if you were to look at a tree, let's see, do I have a tree here? So there's some trees right here, is they come right at the very bottom, they extend out because those are the bottom roots that go into the ground. So they kind of curve like that. So then here's the left side. 
So then you're gonna go over here onto the right side and you're gonna draw the same thing but on the opposite side. But here's the cool thing, you're an artist so you get to decide how big your tree is. So maybe I'm gonna make mine really big. Mm. I'm gonna move over here. So I draw down and then when I get close to the bottom, I'm gonna curve out. Nice. So can you see how this tree is a lot wider than this one? Isn't that cool? That is super cool. So you can do it any way you like. Now, the next step is, is I want you to draw a few branches. So you have your tree trunk and we're gonna try to draw imaginary, pretend this is continuing and you're gonna start somewhere in the middle and you're gonna draw lines that come out. So they're not connecting because we're going to add the leaves on top of here. So just draw a few branches, maybe some lines come out from your branches. Wow, like that. okay. Okay, so there is our skeleton of our drawing. I want you to sit, and we're gonna do an imagination exercise. So I want you to close your eyes with me and I want you to think it is September, October, or November. So that means it's turning fall. Maybe the leaves are changing colors. What colors do you see? Do you see a, let's see, do you see pumpkins? Are you throwing a football outside? Yes. Is, are you wearing, let's see what else. I think of some leaves at the bottom and you jumping in them. Sweaters. Sweaters. Um, what else do you think Pumpkin of, Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Candy yes. corn. <laughs> Candy corn. Ooh, scarecrows. Scarecrows. Or crows. corn. Crows. Yes. I think of corn mazes. Ooh. So those are so many things that you think of during your, that, the season of fall. So whatever your imagination sees, I want you to draw it. Now, if you don't know how to draw it, I'm gonna show you a few things. I'll show you how we drew pumpkins and a football, but whenever we draw here or whenever you draw is remember that you can do it and you just need to look, maybe you look at a picture and you just find simple shapes. So let me show you how you can do that with a pumpkin. So if we're looking at our pumpkin, pumpkins are kind of circular. So I'm gonna draw a circle. Then, when you look at a pumpkin, it has curves to it, more curves. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come from the top here and you're gonna add kind of crescent moons and curves. So my curves match this side. So I'm gonna come to the other side and I'm gonna draw more curves, two more, but they're gonna match the curve coming this way. So the opposite. Mm. Do you see that? Tricky. Starting to look like a pumpkin, right? Totally. So then pumpkins have stems, so let's just draw a line and another line close to it and then connect them. Wow. There's a simple pumpkin. It's just a bunch of smiley faces hooked up to each other. <laughs> yeah, I love that. So let's do another one. So maybe this one's behind it. So let's draw another one. So again, curve, curve, let's flip it, curve. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. And add another one. Now, Let's draw a football because I think of football when fall is happening. Mm -hmm. So it's same thing actually. We're just gonna draw, continue to draw smiley faces. So let's draw a curve and then maybe we're gonna flip it so the curve's gonna come the other way. And we'll draw oh, like nice. that. Nice, lemon. Or a lemon or an acorn or an Ooh, eye. Ooh, and throwing an eye around. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think what else my brain Could sees. Could be spooky. A spooky eyeball floating in the air. You want me to do that? Yeah, do that. Okay, so an eyeball would probably have curves. Uh-huh. And then we'll make it black right there. Ooh, nice. <laughs> what if you do the other side? <gasps> That's just a cat's face. <laughs> We'll pretend, Wait, so you won't have, know. Cats have oval pupils. Oh, like that? I think it's like their entire eye. Oh. From top to bottom oval. Like a pumpkin eye. Like that? Yeah, sure, that'll be perfect. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So if you did, <laughs> we're gonna turn these into eyes. That was really fun. 
Or if you are doing a football, you can add some lines to pretend like you're throwing into it. So we'll do that. Let's see, another idea is, hmm, if you want, maybe there's some tall, maybe draw a scarecrow in the background. That's what we had said. There are a few other things I remember mm -hmm. you saying, but we're gonna leave it for this, but I want you to draw whatever you see during the seasons of fall, which remember the months are September, October, and November. Okay, so we drew. Now, the, this next step, if you have crayons, grab out your crayons, and I'm going to outline, I'm gonna outline these two things, because it will help me as, since they're really small, and then we're gonna paint. So we're gonna speed up, but I just want you to take your time and use your crayons and outline your things. Go. Okay, so we are back, and so you see, I just added some crayons to, and I colored it in just a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use our watercolors. So we're gonna switch a little bit, take my crayons off to the side, and grab your brush, and we're gonna do some color mixing. So we have our three colors that we started with, but I wanna show you how to make a few more colors. So we have our fuchsia right here, we have yellow. And remember, if you have magenta or red, you can use the same colors. So what you're gonna do, let's see. Okay, so I am going to have a lot, so there's, see how there's a lot of this color right here? So I'm gonna do two, let's do three drops right here, and let's do one drop right here. So do you see how it goes from big to small? Mm-hmm. Now, guess what? Yeah. I'm going to make three different colors. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the op opposite. So I'm gonna add a lot, I have yellow right here. I'm gonna add a lot of yellow. So let's do five drops of yellow. Let's do three drops. Let's do one drop. Wow. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh, okay, so we made a red. Beautiful red, look at that. Wow. What's this? Ooh, kind of like a red-orange. Okay, a little more red-orange. Mmm. Ooh, and that's a light orange. Yeah. So do you see how we did that? So if you look at this, this color has more of this, and this color has more of this one. Hmm. So you kind of made a circle of colors and a wheel. So that's how you make a color wheel. Now, I'm going to use those colors to paint the background. So th I thought when my imagination closed my eyes, I saw it was kind of sunset and it had these different colors. So do you see I went from yellow to kind of this orangey pinkish yeah, color? Yeah, like a nice sunset gradient color. Yes. So let's do that. Let me set this aside. Okay, so we have our painting, and let's start with the lightest color. So maybe I'll start with, mm, I'm gonna start with this orange color. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna paint around what you did, what you drew. Now, when you're doing this, once you have that, I want you to use water and you're going to paint it on top. The reason why is that as we are doing this, I want you to get lighter as you come close to your tree because we're gonna add color on top of it. So let's do that, let's grab, oh, let's go the next color because I'm gonna start to get darker or more pink as we go up. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add the color and then I'm just gonna use water. Once I get closer to my, br my branches, I'm gonna use water. So let's grab, go to the next color and do that. And then use water. 
Now, I realized I didn't do this side of it. So it, maybe what you did was you did this side and then you did this side because this is the whole sky. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm using this really pretty red. And I'm just gonna go around the edge and then use water. So I just dip in water and then come close to the branches. Then I'm gonna go to the opposite. So we had my red, let's go closer to yellow. So go to the next color. Paint that and do you see when you, even when I'm mixing colors, they start to blend together. So magical. Right, watercolors is so fun to paint with. Now let's go to the next color. The cool cat eyes mm -hmm. that are in the background. Those are just peering around when it's dark outside. <laughs> okay, so I just want to get water when I get closer to my tree. Woohoo! Nice. There we go. And you know what's cool? Do you see how different colors it is even from this one that I painted? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Every, Super cool. All of them look different. Okay, so you did that step. Now, Next is the grass, or maybe it's a hill. But I saw in my brain, I saw grass. Maybe I'll make it a little bit darker than this color. But where's my yellow? Okay, so to make green, if you wanna make your grass green, is you're going to mix blue and yellow together. But when you do this, I want you to use just one drop of blue, and then I want you to use three drops of yellow. The reason why is blue is really strong. Let's see, so we did this yellow and blue together. Oh, and I made this pretty green. Mm. So. We got fresh leaf green. Yeah. And here's what I wanna teach you, is if you decide, can, oh, I got some color on here. That's okay, so if that happens, what you can do is I'm gonna use my brush and I'm just gonna mix it in. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just got darker up there. Oh, it made it brown. Yeah, nice. Fun, so you make it work. Happy little accident there. Nice, okay. What I was gonna show you is I have green right here, but what happens, I'm gonna put my green right here so you can see a little bit better. What happens if I just add a little bit of blue? Hmm. Ooh, a slightly darker Ooh, green. Ooh, yeah. Now that I wanna keep nice. ex experimenting to show you how it's fun to experiment. What if I have my green and I have my red? I wanna see what happens. Oh. Oh, kinda of there we go, it made a darker green. Oh, what? Isn't that cool? How's that possible? It's because we mixed opposites. <sighs> and actually that reminds me I want to show you is if you have this, if you have our box, grab this out because you can see how we're mixing these colors. We're using these same formulas. So what we did was we mixed this color with the opposite and that's why it made brown or it made a darker color. So let's keep going. So we have our green, whatever color you have, and you're going to paint the bottom. That's a nice green. Oh, I mixed the other green. Yeah, it's like a, f a olive green, forest green. It's like a live green. A live green. So we did that. Maybe if you want to add some lines. So if this is grass, maybe you draw some lines going up like this just to mm. add some texture. And texture just means the look, a different look, kind of like the grass look. It might blend in, but. That's just something fun. Okay, next step is we are going to make brown. So let's look at our formula guide and we're gonna mix the three colors that we have. So let's do, I'm gonna do it over here. Let's do four drops of fuchsia or if you have magenta, one, two, three, four. Let's do four drops of yellow, two, three, four four, oops, I might have done one extra, and one drop of blue. 
mix that together. Let's see what we get. Whoa! Ooh! Whoa! That's like a burgundy oh. red. Ooh, a bur Whoa, a burnt brown? What wow. is that? Wow! I don't know. Yeah, what kind of wood is that? That's a cool color. Mahogany. <laughs> yes. So if you didn't get that color, maybe you mix and t try it out and experiment and see what you can get. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to paint your tree trunk brown. Then, let's do that. Then you're going to paint your and outline your branches. I know it looks a little bit funny now, but we're gonna do the next step, which will be some magic. So we have these colors that were mixed right here. Ooh, this color got a little bit of mixed. Maybe I'll make it again. Yeah. So we have our colors mixed. So this is wh what I'm going to use to make my leaves. So I have all these different colors. Maybe I want some of this color too. So mix your colors on your palette that you want to make your leaves because can you see that they're all different colors? It's mm. not just one color. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your toothbrush. So we're switching tools. We were using a paintbrush and now we're using a toothbrush. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip into the color. You see how it's on the bristles? Yes. Okay, here's the trick. Can we get, make sure we get a good side shot? We got a good side good? shot, we're set. Boom, okay, ready? So what you're gonna do is you're going to turn your brush so the bristles are facing down and I want you to just push. Oh. So I'm going fast and I'm just pushing. I'm not pushing very hard actually. But do you see how it's making this That's cool different look? Lovely. Whoa, and then what you do is you go and pick up another color and you overlap it. Maybe I get some of this color. And maybe, so do you notice how I'm just using the top part of this? I'm not using all of it. So I'm kind of going at it at an angle. Hmm. And that may help you out if it's not working. So I'm gonna keep going around. If you need more color. And your branches, because they were wet, they're kind of still there, but they're kind of blending in, which I like that look. This is creating a cool look. And it's so much fun. I want some yellow maybe. Keenan, what's your favorite thing about fall? Hmm. Well, usually fall also means a lot of different family birthdays and different, well, friend birthdays too, but also some holidays that require a large buffet of food. Mm. And so oh, I love the fall because of food. Yeah, Thanksgiving, even Halloween, you can make up an excuse to have a hot dog shindig, you know? <laughs> I like to eat hot dogs in two bites. Talented. Yeah, that's a gift. <laughs> but I love the fall because it rhymes with food and family. <laughs> I love it. Boom. Okay, so you can keep going. I'm gonna add some more leaves over here. So I love how there's so many different colors I'm using. I really like that yellow that's got put in there. I love that the branches sneak out a little bit. Right, just a little bit. Just a little, not a lot. Cause that's the same thing when you look at a tree. It's not, it's, you don't see a full, unless it's sticking out, but because the leaves are kind of in front and behind, it creates that look. Then if you want to do what I did over here, which was I had a, a pile of leaves, what you can do is let's add some leaves down here. So again, I'm using that technique where I'm just pushing with the toothbrush and then maybe a few. Ooh, falling leaves. Falling leaves. That's there so you go. pretty. Into a pile with a cat eyes behind it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you, I, I'm gonna use the other colors I have and I'm just gonna color in my pumpkin. You could do a painted pumpkin. You can draw a design on there and say it's a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, that's a great idea. That's cool. Whoa. Whoa, so many 
fun ideas. Wow, this looks so cool. And I love this brown that I ended up with. Me too. Sweet. Okay, so the next step is, is this is a little bit wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this off to the side because I want it to dry. But while that is drying, what I want you to do is I want you to get a practice sheet of paper, just any computer paper. And if you have our box, go and grab one that looks like this and it says fall fun. And what I want you to do is I want you to practice your words. So maybe you grab a crayon and you write out, the first word that I have here is pumpkins. But write out the words or the imagination or when we were closing our eyes, what you saw that you love about fall. So pumpkins, Keenan said sweaters, is that what you said? Sweaters. sweaters. I love a good sweater, whether it buttons up or it's a pullover, you choose. Yes. Bow ties. A cardigan. Cardigan, that's the word. <laughs> so I want you to take some time and write your other things out that you really like about fall. Okay, so I filled out my worksheet and I wrote out all the words that I think of for fall. So now I'm gonna set that aside and what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do some fun lettering with our paintbrush and watercolors. So if you have a smaller paintbrush, I want you to go and grab that. And here's a fun thing I wanna teach you. You know how all the colors that we use that were over here that we use for a sunset and our leaves actually, let's use those same colors. So do you see how I went from a darker color to a lighter color? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look cool? Yes, it does. So. I know you can do this. Here's what the steps are. Is you're gonna pick your darker color and all the way over here you're gonna start and I'm gonna write I love fall. Maybe you write fall. Maybe you write what favorite month it is. Ooh. You could do that. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna start over here and just with your first color. Ooh, that's that pink. That is a pretty color. Oh, that's that fuchsia color. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna Clean my brush and let's go to the next color. Maybe we'll do two. And then clean my brush. And there's a lot of water on there, so I'm gonna clean it, but I'm gonna use my paper towel and I'm gonna go like this and swipe a little bit off. That, and then let's do two colors. So do you see how it's starting to change colors? Yes. Do that, clean my brush, see what this color is. Fall, I'm gonna do a capital F. Let me get really big. Whoa, okay. Just decided to mix it up. Oh, that works, I'm gonna do my yellow. That's pretty. Ooh, yeah, I like how it did a little bit different colors. And I'm gonna do an exclamation point. I love fall. Sweet. Okay, so you just did that. You made, it's called ombre or mixing of colors. Oh. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Now, for the words down here, you can either use your brush just like we did here, or I'm gonna show you how I'm just gonna use a crayon, and maybe I pick different colored crayons to use. So if you have colored crayons, grab those out. Maybe I'll do an orange. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a color and I have this that I filled out. So I'm gonna write out the words down here. Pumpkins. Keenan said family time he mm -hmm. likes. So we're just filling this all in, writing our favorite things about fall. Let's say leaves. This would be a really fun project to send uh, maybe a grandparent. It's <gasps> a you good know? idea, yeah. Growing up, there was uh, my grandparents didn't live nearby, so there was a neighborhood grandma, and so we would spend time with her making cook baked goodies and such. Oh. Yeah. And maybe it was during the fall. It was always during the whole year. <laughs> it was always there. <laughs> Always time to make cookies. Yeah, always. <laughs> well, I did this for you because you said food, and I made it Thank all you. capital with an exclamation point. Yes. <laughs> okay, so 
then you're done. Wow. You did it. You made this really fun project. So what I want you to do is I want you to hold it up. Maybe you hang it on the fridge. Maybe you do send it to someone and give it to them. And I want you to smile and be proud of what you made because this was a really fun one. So we have a Facebook group and we also have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids that you can take, ask a grown up to take a picture and share with us. And I also wanted to share with you is this is fall, but the other seasons of the, of the year are, let's see, it goes fall and then winter. Ooh. And then after winter is spring. Ooh. And then you have summer. So if you want to do more there, we have more videos that have these three th seasons. So you can make more with us. Yes. We love that. Okay. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And I'll see you next time. Bye.